Hello and welcome back for some more Hearthstone Arena. Uh, I was just taking a quick look at my deck before I jump back in because it's been a few days since I've played with this Arena deck. So, all right, so I got a couple of Shadow Steps. I have some decent removal. I got a couple of Assassinates. I got a Fan of Knives. I have a Backstab. I do have Betrayal, which is always handy to have. I have the Mana Wraith, which can be pretty annoying. And I have Baron Geddon, which I think won me two games um, already, so pretty happy with that card. And I've got a sprint for a late game. So let's do this. I'm hoping we continue to, to have some decent luck with this deck. I mean, it doesn't strike me as a, an amazing deck. It doesn't seem too awful, but it's definitely not uh, definitely not the best arena deck that I've had. By any stretch of the imagination. Alright, so we are up against a druid. Starting hand, we have Earthen Ring Farseer, Betrayal, and Sprint. Uh, the Earthen Ring Farseer was pretty handy, so I think I'll hang on to him this time. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna toss the other two here. So, uh, we do have a turn one play. Or I could just go for turn two. I'd I'd rather play him with charge, just to try to get him to bait out like a three two, like maybe like a fairy dragon or something like that. So I'm gonna wait. Hopefully it doesn't screw me over. And he said greetings, so I guess I will I will say that back. A natural mistake. Ooh. I'm sorry, you just wasted your coin. That's uh, that's pretty awful. I've been there. I've done that before. Doesn't happen too often, but I have done that. And yeah, what the hell? I'll just smack him once. Chances are, in the future, I will be able to use my weapon again without it screwing up my uh, my turn at all. So. What the hell? So he's playing kind of odd. He must not have any low cost minions or anything like that, so. Which is fine with me, so. I will go ahead. Now I could shadow step it back to my hand and just hit him again, but I really don't see the point of doing that. So instead, I'm just going to hit him with my weapon, and then. Like I was just saying, I would have an opportunity to just. Use my weapon again, so no worries there. Curious to see what he does with three mana. Let the pain speak Accolade of Pain's a pretty decent play. Um, I don't really have any way to get rid of that without giving him two cards, which blows. Uh... I think what I'll do... I don't really feel like giving him cards on my turn. I think I'd rather just get the damage in because he's going to obviously do this. So... I could Earthen Ring Farseer just to have a 3-3 out on the board. And I think I might do that and just use the healing to heal myself. So many options. So... Yeah, I'll do that, I guess. My eyes are so I'll heal myself up and hit him in the face. So he'll more than likely do this bop here to get a card, and then he'll know he'll at least have another card out of it. So next turn I'm thinking I'll just Elven Archer just to finish this thing off. Or I could just, you know, use my hero power and just bop it. Which I may do that. For the crusade! I might want to use that Elven Archer actually to take the Divine Shield off. Now that I see this popping up here. So, mm, let's see. So I definitely want to uh, 
I really don't want to bring the Earth Ring Farseer down to two, but I don't see any other way around it. So I'll ping this off here. And I'm just going to take the damage. And I think what I'll do here is... Yeah, I think I'm just going to Dread Corsair. It'll keep my 1-1 alive. Leaves me vulnerable to like a swipe, but not too terribly. So I did have the option instead to just use my hero power and just bop him and just get it off the board. But I didn't want to give him even more of a card advantage than he already has. So there's the swipe. He'll probably bop it with his uh, Acolyte of Pain now. Which if he does, yeah. So here I'm thinking about shadow stepping my uh, Earthen Ring Farseer back to my hand. But before I do that, I'm going to play the Gadget Zen Auctioneer so I get a card from it. So, but first, ooh, that was close. I almost forgot to attack. That would have really, really sucked. Okay, so, yeah, I see no reason not to play this right this second. Um, so I will bring you back to the hand. Job done. And then I can play it for one mana next turn. And that'll give my Gadget Zen Auctioneer 4-5, which makes him harder to kill. So he's going to have to... Ooh. Swipe does hurt. Swipe and Wrath, ouch. So he's got a lot of removal. He's already used two swipes. So that's kind of unfortunate for me. Um, yeah, so here I'm just going to Earth and Ring Farseer, heal myself up a little bit. And I think I might just Dark Iron Dwarf, though I do prefer saving that. Because if I make this a 5-3, if he has another swipe, or like a bite, or even a claw, he could easily kill it. And he may take the damage. He may not care about that, I'm not sure. Um, but it's only going to be a 5-5 five, five for 5, but I prefer getting it out now. Because this is a great target right now for, like, a if he has a Starfire or a uh, Starfall. So if he has one of those, he'll more than likely play that, and then it'll leave me the opportunity to Dark Iron Dwarf my Earth and Ring Farce in the next turn. If he doesn't do either one of those, I'll probably just play Sprint just to get the cards. Wild Growth this late seems strange to me. So there's the Starfall, so I baited that out fine. So now what I'll do is... Do I then Shadow Step it back to my hand? No, I'll, I'll wait. I'll first hit him. And... I'll just use my weapon and bop him. And yeah, we've got a pretty good... I mean, he might have like a the 8-8 eight, eight taunt, whatever that thing's called, the Ancient Protector, or Treant Protector, or whatever the hell the thing's called. The Beast. Okay, well, must cleanse the sun well. At least it doesn't have charge, right? So let's think about this. Do I have lethal? So, I have 9 damage on the field. 10 if you count this, which I certainly will. This gives plus two. That puts me so close to being able to kill him. Oh, that's so close. Am I doing the maths right? I, I believe I am. So, that's kind of scary. It's like, do I go for the kill? I mean, if he has a taunt, I'm pretty much screwed. But if he doesn't... So many mm, options. Well, I may as well get some cards in my hand, because I might get something that'll let me get really lucky here. Okay, I think... Uh, Alright, we're hitting him in the face. And then... He's going to be forced to do some trades here. He'll probably kill like this, 
so I just want more minions out on the field so that he is in a life-threatening situation even if he clears my board because he doesn't have lethal damage so unless he has a taunt he's pretty dead here I was gonna go huge and try to play the Mad Bomber, but then I realized it wouldn't actually work because uh, I wouldn't be able to shadow step the Dark Iron Dwarf back to my hand and also play the Dark or and also play the Mad Bomber. So I was hoping to get like one lucky hit on him, but that's not gonna work. So I wonder what that is. It might be like a rat. I must safeguard the Ooh. Well, that sucks. So he's armoring up at this point. Yeah, he's going to be forced to clear my board as much as he can. Show one yet. He still doesn't have a taunt. Alright. So he's at three. Ravenhold Assassin would be pretty good here because if he doesn't play a taunt, I would be in a pretty good position there. So, I almost want to try to just kill him with the Mad Bomber and my hero power with Shadow Stepping. I think, I think I'm going to do that just because it would be kind of hilarious. So, yeah. So let's get him down to there. Let's play the Mad Bomber. Come on, Mad Bomber. You son of a bitch, Mad Bomber. I hate you. Alright, so... Yeah. Let's shadow step it back. <laughs> Come on, Mad Bomber. Do it. Yes. Come on. No. <laughs> uh, I tried. Alright, so I think I'm just going to Ravenhold Assassin here now. I hear you got a problem. So. Yeah, he's, I mean, again, he's going to be forced to, to have to clear my board or he's dead. So he's going to at least have to kill the Mad Bomber or play a taunt. So, let's see what he's well doing. Played. Did he just kill me? I wonder. Mind if I roll knee? It, maybe not. If he's playing that, I think he's just tossing everything out on the board. The he doesn't have a taunt, so he's just going to hit me as hard as he can and roll over and die, I guess. I would have been so happy if that Mad Bomber would have killed him. That would have been so funny. That would have been like the most hilarious death ever for that guy, I'm sure. Alright, so we're 3 and 1. Or, I'm sorry, we're 3 and 0. Oh. And, uh. Yeah, I'm I'm actually liking this deck. It's, it's pretty fun to play. The Shadow Step with the cards that I have is pretty interesting, the things that I'm able to do with that. So, I am definitely liking that. What are we up against this time? Another druid. I wasn't paying attention to his name, but I'm interesting. Or I'm interested to see if that was the the last guy I was up against. It's probably not, but I'm gonna keep the yeti because the yeti is pretty solid. Okay. Well, we don't have a turn one unless we draw something. I'm sorry, we could Mad Bomber turn one, even though I hate doing that. I much prefer hanging on to it. Okay, so we get a Warlord. Mm. I could just use my weapon just to have it. And then I could Mad Bomber. And then bop whatever he throws out on his turn. Because chances are it'll have more than one health if it's a turn two. It'll probably be like a 3-2 or possibly a 2-3. So if I'm Mad Bomber, I'll already have my weapon. Uh, yeah. And I'll just hang on to my weapon. I don't see any point in doing one damage to him at this moment, so... Breaking stuff, breaking stuff. Alright, so he's reluctant to play anything as well, it seems. Um, well, obviously I want to I save that for the combo. Because playing that is just a 2-2 two -two I'm not too fond of. I might just run the Mad Bomber out here. 
just because I want a minion on the field. So... Mm, yeah. Fuck you, Mad Bomber. Here we go. And I'll just pop him one time. So now I have a minion out. He has three mana. He could have like an Innervate in hand, so maybe he's doing like a turn three, five mana play. Like, maybe like a Druid of the Claw. That would suck. Is this the same guy? It very well may be. I'm gonna have to check and see if that's the same guy or not. So I could easily, you know, just kill it, get one card. Or, I'm sorry, he would get one card. And I could also play the Razorfin Hunter. Leaves me vulnerable, very vulnerable to a swipe, however, because if he swipes the Razorfin Hunter, he kills my Bad Bomber and the Boar also. Which I'm not too fond of. Um, however, looking at my options, don't really have very many. And if this is, in fact, the same guy, I know he has at least two swipes. So, I think, so well, if, then again, if, if he swipes me, okay, that's four mana, that'll be his whole next turn clearing my board, then I can chill one Yeti. Yeah. Don't mess Fuck it. <laughs> but let's hit him in the face instead, so. Uh, I'm gonna hang on to my weapon in case I pull one of those lovely cards that makes my minion cheaper or come out with charge if I have a weapon equipped. Oh, that's unfortunate. I didn't think about the obvious possibility of him getting multiple cards from that thing if I didn't do the trade. That kind of blows. I must safeguard the left. Yeah, I'm almost positive this is the same dude as before. Alright, so he's gonna get another card from that. I think here, I think I just chill one Yeti. I wonder. Yeah. I mean, I could Betrayal on this thing, smack him for one, bop him, this lives with one health, and then I kill it with my weapon, but then he can easily kill it off. So, it's either that or draw a card. I think I'd rather have the Yeti. He could just Starfall it, but if he doesn't have Starfall, I'll be in a decent position. This one, I just want to kill that thing. And I'm going to continue to hang on to my weapon here. Next turn could possibly be a Fen Creeper. If he doesn't kill the Ch Chillwind Yeti, it's probably going to be... Um, if he plays like a minion or a couple of minions. Oh yeah, Betrayal's happening. So it's going to be Betrayal and Defias Ringleader. It's definitely going to be the play. Alright, so... I think what I do here is... Toss betrayal on this guy, kill two minions. And now, Chill One Yeti is four mana. I could just play this now. Or. Well, first off, I want to do this. Now, I could Shadow Step it, play it for two mana, it leaves me with one mana. Or I can just combo this out while I've got it. And still. Just bring it, bring the Yeti back to my hand anyway. Which I think I'll do. I don't want to leave that with one health. Because if he swipes, yeah, I don't want to lose my Yeti. So, you come on back and just stay safely in my hand. Sounds good. And again, I'm going to continue to hang on to my weapon. Because having that one damage removal is pretty useful. He does have a card advantage, a pretty significant one. Does he have like seven cards, eight cards? So he's got double the amount of cards I have. So he'll remove that and get another card. If he has like a, a claw, he could easily 
remove this. Murloc Tidehunter. So is he gonna... Okay. I was thinking he might bop this, so I can't just do this and leave a 2-1 against a 2-1 on the field. But he probably figured I would just smack it with my weapon, which is probably what I'm going to do. So... I think I just chill when Yeti again, because it's only 2 mana. And I could Earth and Ring Fars here oh, also. But... In the interest of cons or in the interest of using all of my mana, I'm actually instead of the Earth and Ring Farce here because I don't really need to heal anything yet. I'm gonna do this to draw a card. So I will do that first to just see what card I get. Okay, having an assassinate's always good. So now I'll chill in Yeti, and now I will just clear his board. I'll take the two damage. I don't mind. I can. Kill myself for three with the Earth Ring Fars here if I so desire. So if he has a Starfire or a Starfall, he can kill the Yeti. But that'll be pretty much his whole turn. Well, if he has a Starfall, um, he could Starfall the Yeti and then use his hero power to kill the Defias Ringleader. Do you like to play with fire? That's a little scary. It could be a Claw. Or a Swipe, rather. All right. I'm not sure why he didn't just use the swipe on the Yeti. I'm wondering why he favored using on the gnome there. I'm not quite sure because the Yeti would have died. Uh, I guess I guess the gnome would have lived too. I suppose is why he did that. So considering that, I suppose it wasn't a terrible play. So here I could use my weapon. Use this. That leaves me with four mana. I could Earthen Ring Farce here and heal the Yeti back up. Which uh, I may do. Just so it's he's not like in danger of being swiped. Or I could just heal myself. So many which I think I'll do. So I'm just gonna bop him. I'll play the charge. Which I'll use just to kill this. And then... I'll just heal myself up. And I'll just pop him once. I I didn't see the point in just taking the three damage there. I mean, a 2-1 is going to die really easily. I didn't see it living past this turn at all. That's fine, that gets assassinated. I'm totally fine with this. So. Yeah, it's a straightforward assassinate. And I'll I'll run out the Swamp Ooze. He's not gonna have any weapons, obviously, so. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna hang on to my weapon again. Because I still have that 3 3 taunt that I could pull. That I could play for 3 if I have this equipped. As opposed to four. So things that would hurt me here, uh, Starfall would certainly hurt. Hmm, I Another swipe would hurt fairly bad. Swipe Starfall would completely clear my board. Alright, he'll play the Fen Creeper. And he'll beef that thing up. So 5-8 is going to be a little difficult to get through. So I think at this point I go ahead and throw out the Warlord. Ooh, the Backstab will help. I think the Backstab will help me get through this thing. So first off, play the Warlord. Give me a 7-7, which is pretty tasty. So 2 damage, it puts it at 6... I could trade out the. Uh, yeah, I could trade out these two and leave the Yeti alive. A 4 3 is better than a 3 3, so. And a 3 2 for that matter. So, yeah, let's do that. So I'll backstab him. I will kill it off. 
I mean, he got a card and basically a two for one out of that, so. Here we go. Job's done. I need to draw my sprint card really bad next turn. That would be phenomenal if I could get that card in my hand now. Because he has a tremendous card advantage. I've got the beast. Oh. And to think, if only I had, I had sacrificed just one of those. That's a card I need to keep in mind, the big game hunter. So I need to be wary about against everyone just being above seven attacks. So now he's like going all in. He's like, oh, I've got an advantage, which you certainly do, guy. You certainly do. So Ravenhold Assassin is pretty good. I might just Fen Creeper here, though. Kind of sucks this doesn't trade because he beefed it up. I mean, I could just eat the four damage to kill it. And then Fen Creeper. Hmm. Yeah. Here we Sucks, go. but... Now, I could Ravenhold Assassin. And just take this, the you know, at least six damage next turn. To do a potential eight to him next turn. And then I could hide behind the taunt. I think I'll do that. Hey, you got a problem. So I'm not in a life-threatening situation at this at this second. So. And friend creeper, I guess it wouldn't have died to like a immediate nuke on his part from like a starfall. But he could have starfalled and then traded it out. All right, things are getting another mark of the wild. Holy shit! This is getting retarded. The three marks of the wild, all on huge minions. This is not good. Fan of knives. Uh, it removes something, I guess, so we'll, we'll use it. Okay, so we could combo, do tilt damage. We could kill this off. Which I think. Uh. Let me see. I mean, I combo kill this off, or combo trade, so many and then take the four damage to clear that. Mm. That's a tough call. Well played. Oh, he's, he's talking shit. So. I wonder. My greetings. Um. I think killing the 8-8 eight, eight is probably smarter, so I will just do that. Problem solved. And I'll just take the 4 damage to clear it, replay the weapon, and hope he doesn't have any fucking more bullshit to drop on the board. Hopefully that's it. He probably still has like a... Okay, so he's fishing for cards now, so at least he doesn't have an immediate answer to just end the game. It's a close game. It's a very close game. Mm, I wonder what that is. Where shall I strike? Is he gonna clear it? No, he's going for the face. Which is probably smart. I mean, he knows that I can't do anything to kill it without taking damage myself. So things are looking grim. Gadgetan Auctioneer is not the answer that I need. So I will hide behind the taunt, throw this out, and I'm just gonna hit him in the face. So if he doesn't have a taunt, he's dead next turn. Or if he doesn't have a way to remove any of these minions that I have. If he has a swipe, I'm just dead. Yeah, so. I had a feeling. I'm almost positive that was the same druid as last time. He had very similar cards. So I will have to, to check and see that. And I'm going to play another one. 
We're three and one. I'm still feeling okay about this deck. It's it's all right. It's not terrible. It just wasn't in the cards for us at the end there. And he had so many marks of the wild, so that was really rough for me to get through. If I had pulled my other assassinate or my sprint, so I had some cards, it would have been great. I didn't really have a whole lot of card draw. Valera versus Uther. I will fight with honor. Watch your back. Mm. I really don't like the Ravers Razorfen Hunter. I might keep the backstab just for the removal. Uh. Uh. I don't like it. I'm tossing it all. I want an earlier play than that. All right, so I have a turn two play. So if he plays like a weapon real early on, well, I do have a turn one. I'm just gonna do this now. The pleasure is mine. All right, so I'll just hit him in the face, and I kind of want to hang on to this for the inevitable weapon that he plays. I don't want to run out Mad Bomber because it'll probably just kill my own minion. So I will just use my weapon, do another damage. I'm hoping he plays that weapon where if he summons a minion, it gets plus one, plus one. I love it when they play that early and I have the Swamp Ooze and I can just crush it. So, yeah, I'll just take the damage. And I could Earthen Ring Farseer here. It'd be a waste of the healing, which I'm not too fond of. And because I hate wasting healing, I'm just going to use my weapon again. And having my weapon ready to go will set me up for more board clear against these little 1-1 one -one throwaways he keeps pooping out. So turn four could be Ascension Shield Master. Shield one Yeti. It's even worse. Uh so let's see. Options. Could Dark Iron Dwarf give this 4-1, kill it with my weapon, just take the four damage, and leave a 4-4 four -four on the board. That seems pretty viable to me. As opposed to just going for the face again. So and then assassinating it the following turn. So, yeah, let's just clear it. So, things are evened out health-wise between him and I. So, we're both at 25. I have a weapon. I have a 4-4. I can... I could assassinate that next turn. Which I think I will do. It's either that or just trade it out. I mean, a 4 4 for a 5 4. Pretty decent. I mean, is that assassinate worthy? I don't think so when I can just trade for it. I think this would be better saved for mm -hmm. something really scary. Like if he plays that that taunt that has Divine Shield. I can't remember the name of it uh, currently, but he could easily do that. So. Yeah, let's just trade. And I could... Let's see, Consecration would be pretty bad for me right now. I want to save the Mad Bomber, though. Because you never know, I might get lucky with that thing later. Hmm. So, I'm going to bop him. Use my weapon again. Earth and Ring Fire Seer, heal myself up a little bit. Leave, leave a 3-3 on the board. I could have Mad Bombered and then Earth and Ring Fire Seer to heal me, but Consecration would have hurt really bad. Hammer Wrath, yep. Kind of forgot about the Hammer Wrath potential there. Alright, so six mana. Doesn't leave me a whole lot of options with the cards that I have in my hand, so... I think I go ahead and just run Mad Bomber out now. And hope that it only hits him, or at least him more than me, and of course it doesn't. Fuck you, Mad Bomber. I hate you. You're so unreliable. Here we go. 
I do have a fan of knives for some card draw and removal if he poops out more of these guys behind like a top wall or something. Uh, again, I don't want to play the Swamp Ooze, especially now because this is that would just be baking for a Consecration. So I'm just going to hang on to it. And hope that he has a weapon that he plays that he isn't able to use the turn that he plays it. He'll probably just trade, I'm assuming. You need a blessing? Not on my oh yeah. Fan of Knives is a really good play here. Especially because that guy got the health. That's That couldn't have been better. But I think, actually... Mm, I could betrayal and kill this and this. But then I don't have anything to do one damage. Uh, aside from the fan of knives, but I, I really don't want to use that on one thing. So... If I play this and fan of knives, he'll probably just consecration and then bop me with his 2-2, and then probably beef this up somehow. I so I think it's best if I just try to clear it. So... Much as I hate to do it... So now what I'll do is I'll save the Phantom Knives. I'm just gonna eat the 3 damage. Use my weapon again. If he has Consecration, he'll probably play it here. Unless he has more removal, but that, I mean, that was a lot of cards he just threw out there. He was trying to dig in with that play. Yep, there it is. Totally fine. Raging Worgen. Hmm. Not liking the Raging Worgen, actually. That's a little scary. Kind of want to just assassinate it, but to have more options, let's draw some cards. Mana rate this late. It's meh. I could kill the Raging Worgen. I, I could just take the three damage. Ooh, no, I would be taking more than that. I would be taking four. Hmm. But it wouldn't have Wind Fury. And if I can remove it now, maybe I should. Because that thing's going to be a pain in the ass. I mean, I don't want to assassinate a 3 3. So, yeah. We're eating the damage. Here we go. Now we hope he doesn't have, like, an Avenging Wrath or anything like that. What are you looking at? That's getting assassinated. That's super getting assassinated. Alright. So... Yeah. I wish I had the gadget Zen Auctioneer. Oh wait, no, it wouldn't matter. I don't have 10 mana. So... You get assassinated. And... I could chill one Yeti here. Or I could no mission better draw a card. I don't have a taunt. I'm still saving this in case he plays a weapon. He might have a true silver champion somewhere. So, so many options. I could also mana wraith just to fuck with him a little bit, but I don't really see the point. So I'm thinking chill one yeti. It's either that or draw a card, but I'd rather have the the yeti because it's a Preferable trade for me here. here we go. And I will save the weapon. Because I do still have cards in my deck that allow me to benefit from having a weapon. So. Quality is pretty annoying. It's a shame he didn't uh, forget to the quality first there. Would have been awesome if he played the Drake first. Because then I could have just fan of knives. So he'll obviously trade out the 2 1 for the 4 1 there. Oh. 
reporting for duty. All right. So options here are I could fan of knives, kill this, bring this to three, combo this guy out, bring it to one, take the four damage to clear it. How much mana is that? That's three, six mana. That leaves me with four. I could draw a card. Or I could swamp use mana wraith also. Um, let's let's bank. Okay, let's let's bank on him not having another consecration here. So let's do this combo. This guy's toast. Clear him out. Please don't have a weapon. And fuck with your next turn. So if he wanted to play like two five mana minions, for example, now he can't do that. Not on my watch. Alright. Reporting for duty. So he'll get some decent value out of that Cobra. So here, I'm pretty sure I just want to kill the Mana Wraith off. Mm. So what I'm going to do, I almost want to Warlord first. Mm. In fact, I want to Razor Fin Hunter, then Warlord. Yeah. Don't mess with Tusker. Just so this guy's as beefy as possible. It's kind of hard to deal with as a Paladin. So, ping off the shield, and then I'll just do this because, I mean, whatever attacks it's going to die, and I don't want that thing on the board to be able to kill him. Hey, Remove his 2-2. Two, two. So, he could double Blessing of Kings, which would bring that to like a 9-9. Nine, nine. Probably just draw a card, yeah. More cards, more removal. If I can start getting some hits in with this 9 9, that'd be fantastic. He has a lot of card draw. Alright. Ooh, we get Baron Geddon, which. wouldn't be terrible. It would clear his board and leave me with 7 5. So, yeah. So many. Options. Obviously, I don't want to play this after Baron Geddon because I'll just lose it. So, use our weapon, play Baron Geddon, and we're gonna smack him in the face with everything we've got. And hopefully, he's dead next turn. We shall see. Did he get a card from that? I would hope not, because they died at the same time. Oh, tell me he does not have lethal from some bullshit here. Okay. I was expecting, like, Blessing of Kings. Alright, good. Got him. I was pretty low on health. I had to use a lot of my health to clear his board. But it worked out. That guy did not have nearly as much bullshit as that druid did. Alright guys, I think three games in one episode is a pretty good, um, pretty good amount. So I'm going to go ahead and stop there. So thank you very much for watching, and I will catch you guys next time.